Greetings from Lancaster University, Leipzig. My name is Maria Gerenko. I'm a student recruitment advisor here at Lancaster University, Leipzig. And a couple of words about our university. We are a branch campus of Lancaster University, one of the top 15 UK universities, a globally recognized university with several international campuses, including ours in Germany. We offer a number of undergraduate degrees in uh, business, accounting and finance, um, and computer science related disciplines, um, as well as several postgraduate programs, masters in uh, business um, and um, computer science related fields as well. Uh, and today in this webinar, we will be focusing on our career and employment support. Um, and um, I am joined today by my colleague, Josephine Fitchett, who is our um, career and engagement uh, manager uh, and two students uh, who have already have some working experience and who will be happy to share with you um, how they found their jobs and what support they received from the university um, and generally how they are enjoying working in Germany as international students. So I think we will start with a presentation um, of what Josephine is doing to support our students and then we will move on to a Q&A session. So if you have any questions just feel free to uh, drop them into the Q&A uh, section of the webinar and we will be happy to respond later. Okay Josephine up to you. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, thank you for the introduction, Maria. Uh, such a pleasure to have you here. And I'm really happy to tell you more about careers and yeah, employability or engagement options in, in Leipzig. And yeah, so I'm just going to share my screen. <clears throat> Can you see it? Yes. Perfect. So yes, so I'm just going to share my first slide. Move this. <clears throat> um, so yeah, just a few words about uh, Lights as a city, as a as a place where you can find um, great career opportunities during your studies, as well as of course after you graduate. Um, I like to tell this story about how Leipzig was one of the poorest uh, cities in Germany with uh, highest unemployment not even twenty years ago. And now it has evolved to the fastest growing city in Germany with lots of jobs um, that have been created in the last yeah, five years. Uh, lots of interesting companies um, like BMW, Porsche, DHL, um, like the Meyer Bayer store. So there's lots of companies settling um, in and around Leipzig. And of course, they, they have been creating more and more opportunities in yeah, the, the fields that uh, Maria has mentioned. Um, so the five industry classes are automotive, as just mentioned, Porsche and BMW, of course, healthcare, biotech. There's a huge biocity in Germany, with lots of, uh, sorry, in Leipzig, lots of research taking place. And um, yeah, again, also opportunities also in this data science, of course, tech field. Um, then we have energy and then, of course, logistics, IT um, and media. So the, the courses we have created here at the university are really much sort of yeah tailored to the needs of the region and also that makes it rather easy for students and graduates to find you know career opportunities here um yeah as just mentioned lots of investment taking place so Porsche is still expanding BMW are now investing into their e-mobility schemes building batteries and things like that um here in Leipzig and yeah, um, a lot of other things going on. <clears throat> um, beyond these rather big companies, there's also a vibrant startup scene in Leipzig. Lots of yeah, new companies are being founded. The most um, the most yeah popular or most famous are Trivago or Check Twenty Four and Sensei. It's also maybe not as as famous, but a, a company that was founded here and is now expanded to yeah a company at worldwide with worldwide operations. Um, yeah, linked to that, accelerator programs, think tanks, co-working spaces. So it's really great space to also, you know, start your own business and mingle with like-minded people in this field. <clears throat> um, so this is just a little bit more about what we offer here at LU Leipzig or the Career Center. So this is me, of course, with two of our students. <laughs> 
So what do we offer? Um, one-to-one -one guidance. So, you know, you can come to me, book an appointment, and we can talk through, you know, your career goals, but also, of course, through your CV, um, cover letter writing, interview training, all these other things. But I think also um, Andrew and, and Colin can talk a bit more about this later. Um, then we have a lot of yeah workshops on, on campus, go also into detail a bit more uh, later on, um, career events, and of course, a, a really good network of companies by now that we've built in the last couple of years that will obviously, yeah, of course, be happy to have you uh, working for them. And yeah, we have here a lot of company links, industry links, people coming here, doing talks. And um, we, we have, yeah, go to a lot of networking events and students are also happy to, or can join us as well. So it's it's really close collaboration, I guess, between industry and and our university. Um, so this is just to give you an, to give you insights on you know we have a really vast network of of yeah memberships and and clusters we're part of so we're part part of the IT cluster at uh, Central Germany as well as logistics cluster we are part of Silicon Saxony uh, the British Chamber of Commerce um, Impact Hub which is um, sort of an, an incubator space for social entrepreneurship that operates also worldwide. Um, just to give you an idea, and then we have companies, these are just a few examples of companies that we have partnerships with or our students already work with. Um, yeah, Power Cloud, PwC, we have students um, uh, working there at the moment. We have links with Amazon Air, Ernst & Young, we have really close ties with EEX. We have students working there as well um, in Rode and Schwarzer IPOC. Um, so yeah, we have lots of companies here that also, you know, are English speaking and really open to international, yeah, talent. Just to give you an example of uh, career development <laughs> events we're doing here on campus, of course, we're doing trainings in CV and cover letter writing. We had one of them yesterday, where one of our um, teachers comes in and, you know, really trains you on how to write a professional CV and cover letter that, you know, is will make you successful in, in your yeah, application process. Then how to build professional relationships is a workshop I'm going to be running um, in this month. Then we have company visits. We had uh, last week of February, uh, last day of February, had a, a company visit to DHL, where a cohort of students could go to DHL um, close by and see how their operations run at night. So that was really interesting. Um, and then we do other tours to other companies um, that also operate in Leipzig. For your success, it's also quite important to learn German. So this will definitely um, enhance your success or will help you find and settle in and integrate in you know, the German employment market, also German community overall. Um, then an example also of this, this month's event, we're having a career fair with uh, 15 plus uh, companies joining us on campus that again employ uh, international talent. So we're organizing these things ourselves and again have really strong collaboration with, with local companies. Um, and we also have company that guest speakers on campus. But these are just examples. So we do lots, lots and lots activities around career and and engagement. So yeah, something definitely our students can really benefit from during their time here. Um, so how can you <laughs> develop your um, employability skills uh, while studying. So um, you can either become one of the class representatives. This will, you know, help you with, for example, presentation skills, negotiation skills, and um, these sort of things. You could be a student ambassador. This is more on a on a marketing side and and maybe also a bit of customer service because you'll be part of events, for example, or social committee member. So again. Um, yeah, communication skills, intercultural skills. So it's a lot of different skills you can also build here on campus that will be very beneficial for your future career. So we also have um, a platform that's called Job Teaser. This is our internal university platform um, for jobs. 
where our students can find um, jobs that actually, you know, fit their degree. So at the moment, I took took a screenshot yesterday of this. Um, for example, we have an internship in sales. We have a working student communications and marketing, but also, yeah, something more software engineering is also um, amongst these, these jobs. And so this is just 17 jobs that are just out of our network, but on this, on this platform altogether, there is like uh, jobs for, for graduates and students at Germany and also Europe wide. So if you wanted to do an internship in France or whatever, then you could also find an opportunity like this on Job Teaser. Beyond that, you can also use Job Teaser for events. So again, we have lots and lots of events um, on campus. Companies can also um, advertise their events on Job Teaser. And um, yeah, you can register there or you can also book consultation hours with me on Job Teaser. So it's a really cool platform uh, with lots of functionalities that you can use while studying here. Um, yeah, so it's very good when you are in Germany. <laughs> so it's quite accommodating for students and a good yeah asset for them that they can, first of all, also earn some extra money on the side while studying. This is um, very much welcome. And of course, gain practical work experience. Um, during your term time, you can work up to 20 hours a week. So your studies are not too much compromised, so to speak. And um, for example, during the summer, when you have time off, you can also work full time. This is then your summer internship. In comparison, you can also do a working student position. This will be on the side whilst you're studying. Internships are more like a dedicated time of say, for example, three months when you're really just working full time on a particular project or on a particular yeah, thing. So this is sort of the difference. Um, yeah, of course it must not affect studies. Your studies should also be always be your priority that you do well and you have to see how you can balance these priorities. But um, yeah, a lot of students work while studying. So this is very common here and very, very beneficial as well. Um, once graduated, you can, of course, also apply for an 18-month postgraduate um, residence permit. So any graduate can apply for this, which will allow you to stay here for 18 months after graduation and find a job. And then after 18 months and you have found a job, you'll be in work, you know, you can then apply for another, I think it's five years, um, to then stay here for another five years. And then you'll be able or eligible to apply for permanent residency. Um, so this is so, because of course I work with, with a lot of students and, um, yeah, you joined here, you're very, you know, you haven't probably had much work experience. So this is sort of the common questions and concerns that students raise when I uh, speak to them. So they think about, oh, you know, I don't have any work experience or what do I actually put on my CV, for example, or will people... <laughs> or will employers be actually interested in me? Um, I don't speak German. Um, this is a concern I can definitely say yes. If you, it's so advantageous if you want to stay in Germany that, that you learn German or that you at least have the willingness to learn German because it will not only, of course, enhance with your, you know, help you with um, employability and career options. It will also give you a much greater yeah, scope and, you know, opportunities to actually integrate with the with the local people and go, yeah, I don't know. Just it's it's very advantageous, if not necessary, to actually, if you really want to settle in here, definitely learn German. Um, am I skillful enough? So this is also, and I think, yeah, when talking to students, I think, yes, definitely. And I think it's just raising your own awareness of, all the skills you actually have already gained. So the students that study here, of course, they, they gain a lot of skills, just so to speak, studying. And are there any jobs in Germany at all? Yes, definitely. Um, in Leipzig alone, for example, there are over 7,000 unfilled IT positions at the moment. So logistics, um, recruitment is a huge topic in Germany right now. Recruiters are <laughs> like everywhere trying to find suitable candidates to fill their positions. So it is, um, there's so much demand for um, well-qualified people. So yeah, definitely. So uh, 
to counteract these things, you can say, you know what, I've studied at one of the best British universities in Germany. So I have a really good degree. I'm really knowledgeable in my field. Um, I've done internship. So yes, I have work experience. I've had opportunities to gain um, experience, you know, expand my skill set um, and so on. Then, of course, uh, during your studies, again, this is just a couple of examples of when you study, you, of course, build team working skills, for example, or presentation skills or interpersonal skills. So these are all skills you build during your studies as well. Um, yeah, and especially, yeah, the, the courses we offer here or the programs we offer here at LU Leipzig, um, they're in such high demand, whether it's computer science or software engineering, of course, logistics um, or business management uh, courses, they're in really high demand, whether it's here or also in the world, and they're really applicable to any and very sort of open a lot of opportunities in a lot of different industries. And of course, <laughs> you have done, we'll have done a German course, which we offer here on campus. Um, you can start with A1 if you have absolutely no exposure or if you had no exposure to German before and start at the very beginner's level. And it will go on to B2, which will basically really enable you to work and to, you know, communicate um, quite well in German. So this is something we offer here and you can do this on the side um, while you're studying. Um, yeah, and this is it from my side. Uh, thank you very much for attending. Um, I hope this was insightful for you. And if you have any questions, of course, you can, yeah, you can ask me questions. Otherwise, I will hand over to Maria. And um, yeah, maybe you want to add something and ask Colin and Andrew a couple of questions. Yeah, thank you, Josephine. I think it was a great presentation of what we are offering here on campus in terms of career support for our students. Um, if, um, if you have any questions in the future, um, I would refer you to our website. Um, you can always contact us through our website. Um, and now I would like to um, talk to our student ambassadors. So actually the two students on our call today, they are our student ambassadors and they are working uh, really hard to um, also enhance their um, communication skills and their presentation skills, interpersonal and so on by uh, being very active um, and having this leadership position here on campus um, and representing the university. Uh, so here on the call today with us is Andrew and Colin, uh, I would just like to ask you to start with uh, uh, telling a couple of words about yourself, where you come from, which program you study, and where you are currently working or have wor uh, where you have worked uh, maybe in the past. Uh, so let's start with Andrew. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew. Um, I'm a third year uh, software engineering student here at Lancaster University of Leipzig. And uh, my original name is uh, Ming Zetam, and I'm originally from China, but uh, I grew up in Hungary, and then I moved here to Leipzig like two years ago, more than two years ago. And then um, living in Leipzig, for me, it's like a really exciting experience. And then also Germany as a country, um, I think, um, has a really high quality of life and uh, also has a really excellent education and job opportunities for students. So I, I would really recommend um, you to come to uh, Germany to study. Yeah, that's all from my side. Colin. Yeah, Hello everyone, uh, my name is Colin Mbandaripa. I'm a second year computer science student. And where I come from, I come from Zimbabwe. And I moved here to Germany in 2020 uh, to pursue my studies and uh, find uh, the opportunities that Germany provides. Um, as German, the reason why I come to Germany is because they have better living standards. Um, 
and for Leipzig it's better for students because their living cost is lower comparing to other cities and other countries and also that it is a great opportunity uh, for students to work uh, since it is a young city that is looking for uh, more uh, that is looking for more students that can help them with the different tasks that they are doing. Uh, right now I'm currently doing an internship uh, working as a working student at uh, IPOC Schwartz, which is a cyber security company. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. That's thank all for you. Now. And yeah, and a couple of words from Andrew as well. Where are you working or where have you worked? With oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So at the moment, I'm as a working student uh, working at Power Cloud, uh, which is, uh, I think, one of the fastest growing like uh, German, con German company to, uh, to provide open SaaS solution for the energy industry. And what are you doing as part of your internship? Um, actually, as uh, uh, Josefina mentioned before, like as a working student during the like lecture period, we only have to work like not more than 20 hours a week, but you can actually um, schedule your time like uh, and then, for example, at the moon, I'm working 16 hours per week and then usually uh, they will give me like a small task that I can uh, uh, do. And also they actually uh, involve me in the entire like process of all the um, like task. And um, actually uh, I'm there to um, uh, learn and then improve myself. So, and also uh, in the company, they're also like um, um, tutor for me. So mm -hmm. each time when I have questions, I can uh, ask him to help me. So uh, this is how my like uh, working student look like. Okay, great. And uh, how did you find this? How did you find this internship? Could you comment, Andrew? So um, actually, when I when I uh, first I I asked the, for the university for help, and then uh, yeah. Josefina helped me to find all the opportunities. So uh, the university helped me throughout the entire application process, and uh, at the end, I'm lucky that uh, I I passed the interview, and then I got into the company, and I. I've been working since October. Okay, great. Colin, can you say a couple of words about um, what you are doing actually and um, um, during your internship and how did you find it? Um, at Rodin Schwartz IPOC, what I'm doing right now as a student, uh, when they integrated me, I, they integrated me as a junior developer. So, in my first uh, month in December, in January, uh, I was helping the team um, to do debugging of the product that they are working on and to fix some problems in the code. Um, like as a person who was starting to work, this was a little bit difficult for me. And I had some tutors, someone who was helping me um, to uh, to do the debugging and to work uh, throughout the project. Uh, then at the end of January, they moved me to quality assurance um, where we track data traffic and collect um, data, data traffic and also testing uh, machine learning uh, to make sure that we are, collect we are collecting the correct data that can be used by the developers. Um, how I come up to get the job is I contacted the university and Josephine uh, was my main contact who helped me with the application. Um, like I didn't have any skills, so I gave I she helped me with 
uh, writing my CV and uh, what was important and I was helped throughout the application process and they called me for interviews in August. Then after interview, um, I did an, a, a test. Then after doing a test, um, then they called, they called me in November that I got a contract. So I should start starting in December. And I've been working since December last year. Okay, great. Uh, and, uh, would you say that the process was complicated of finding an internship, applying for the job, all this interview process? Was it difficult for you, challenging? Um, uh, like for me, uh, when I applied, when I first applied, uh, I applied for some internship, uh, which the period was only for three months, but the company was looking for something uh, a little bit longer and uh, it took a while for them to process all the papers. And at that moment, they, they were currently not taking any students, um, uh, in, in, any student work. So they had to, the company they had to go to the work, uh, working student council to discuss if they need more students uh, to work for them. Then uh, the process took a, a little bit longer and it got approved when the process got approved of accepting students again in the company. Uh, that's when I managed to, that's when they contacted me that the council is agreed uh, for students to, that, to start working again and you can start work with us. Okay, good. Um, did you find the, the support that the university provided uh, sufficient? Um, how how uh, did you find uh, For me, I think that was the best thing that have ever happened because uh, throughout those, this long process of uh, being in suspense, of not knowing uh, if you're gonna get the job or if, if, if the process is going to go through, uh, the uh, Josephine and his team, they really helped me uh, to, to, to have my trust, uh, to, to have my hope high, uh, to still have my hope of uh, getting the job uh, because uh, they were communicate, I was communicating with them and they also, I was updating and they also updating me uh, to, to keep believing that at the end of, uh, the day something was going to happen. So um, the, the university uh, really uh, gave me a big hand. Okay, thank you. And uh, now I would like um, to ask you to share your experience of working in an international or German environment, uh, whatever it looks like um, at your working place. Andrew, could you say a couple of words about who, are you, who your colleagues are? Are they mostly German or are they mostly international? Um, do you, how do you feel about working here in Germany in your company? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the company where I'm working is a, a German company, but it is really diverse, which means like uh, like employees are from all around the world. Even there are like more uh, em employees uh, working from a remote, which means like working from uh, other countries. So uh, it was not a problem to not, not speak like German because uh, all of us... Uh, we speak in English in the company. And also uh, I found it's really um, beneficial of combining like, uh, like part-time job and then university studies mm -hmm. uh, because as uh, Josephine mentioned, you can gain a practical experience and develop a relevant skills in your field of study. In my case, software engineering. And uh, this can really help me to enhance my CV and also make, uh, make myself more competitive in the job market after graduation. Yeah, that is true. Um, Colin, a couple of words from you. Um, are you 
Are you happy about your working place? How do you feel about your colleagues? Are they mostly German or international? Uh, do you have to speak a little bit German or not at all at work? Um, in, 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 in my department, most people, uh, they are German and mm -hmm. just a couple of few that are international. Mm -hmm. And it is, it, it, it is a very beneficial to speak German mm -hmm. uh, because there's some time uh, when people are discussing because you are you are unconscious about people that are around you, you end up maybe speaking the language that you're more comfortable with. So it's more beneficial to speak German. But however, um, everyone there is so supportive and is so considerable. And when they know that there are people who are more international, uh, everyone is trying to speak in English, communicate in English, and they've tried to do their meetings also in English. Um, the, 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 work, the working environment is uh, so supportive, like everyone there is so supportive, even if you don't know, to know what to do. Uh, the first important thing that they'll tell you is to always ask. And when you ask, uh, there's always someone who's willing to take their time and to help you with uh, any problem that you have. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah, um, and um, could you, uh, would you say that your studies um, really helped you in, in your working place, like what you are doing now during your internship, uh, the skills, the knowledge that you got during your studies, um, are they helping you at the moment? Um, yes, um, what I studied is uh, really helping me because um, the, the task that the university gives us it's something that when they uh, interview you, it's something that they look 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 up to. If uh, what you have done in your practical assessment is what they are also looking for, so it helped me. It it helps me that when I'm in work, um, it helps me to practice what I've learned in class in a more practical world, in a more real world. To uh, to build my confidence that what I'm learning, it's really helping me. So it gives me a bit more motivation uh, that what I learn, like what I'm learning right now in like in computer science, uh, computer networks, it's what I really like do every day at work. So mm -hmm. it's something that after learning in class, uh, I can also go uh, to use it in, in my workplace and um, it also increases me my my skills uh, to come better in uh, uh, programming and uh, solving uh, work problems and mm -hmm. also solving uh, academic uh, problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And Andrew, would you say the same? Do, do your studies uh, help you at your uh, working place? Yes, I. I'm really get, glad that I had the opportunity to actually apply all the knowledge that I have learned uh, in Lancaster University of Leipzig. And also, uh, when I started uh, as a working student, I learned to balance like uh, the part-time job and then the university stud studies at the same time, because it is important to create sometimes a, a schedule and then stick to it. And uh, this may involve uh, setting aside specific times for work, study, and of course, leisure activities, as well as uh, being flexible and willing to adjust uh, my schedule as needed. Yeah, it's also and, about time management skills. You are right. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I actually learned a lot how to manage myself. And also, it can also be helpful to usually during this time when you have to schedule your work and studies to communicate with, for example, your tutor in the company or with my tutor in the company or all the professors at the university to schedule and um, my schedule and all the commitments and actually seek out support and resources when needed. Mm -hmm. So actually... Yes. Yeah, 
Great. Um, and what are your future plans? So, uh, Andrew, you are now in, in the final year of your undergraduate degree, so you will be graduating soon. Um, are you already looking for a job upon graduation or are you planning to do it later on? What are your plans? Actually, I, I think I had already started uh, uh, searching for uh, another like opportunity, like an internship for, uh, for summer. And um, Josephine helped me to find uh, another uh, like internship position uh, at EY, where um, I will do uh, and as uh, also like a software related um, uh, position as an intern. Mm -hmm. Oh, good luck. Good luck with that. Yes. It's great to hear. And Colin, what about you? Do you already have some plans for the future? And I still have another year, but um, I was talking to the other students who I'm working with, and I've come to understand that, like most students, when they are finishing their thesis, they usually start applying for the same company, start negotiating a new contract with them. Mm -hmm. So when I was talking to one of the employees, uh, he was telling me that, yeah, it's impossible uh, that upon your graduation, you negotiate a new contract. So mm -hmm. I think I'll, that's be my first approach uh, to negotiate another contract, a full-term uh, contract. Mm -hmm. oh, good luck with that. Thank yes, you. and Josephine already mentioned that uh, all international students studying with us, um, be it an undergraduate program or a postgraduate program, um, all graduates will qualify for an 18 uh, post-study work visa. Um, and it is granted, anybody qualifies for it who has a degree from a university in Germany. Uh, and then you will have um, 18 months to find a job. Um, and then once you have a job, you can change your visa status to a uh, working visa uh, and after five years of having a residence permit in Germany um, international students or experts working in Germany um, they qualify for a settlement permit so this is a permanent residency in Germany uh, so this is also yeah, a great opportunity for um, for international students in particular um, if they work during their studies um, it might be easier later to get a uh, a long-term contract um, for working and extending the work visa. Um, yeah, and the um, final question for me, um, what would you, uh, what, what kind of advice would you give to future students coming to study um, to Germany, to Lancaster University Leipzig? Um, Andrew, do you have a piece of advice to share? Mm. Uh... I would say if you plan to come to Germany, uh, maybe it is important to be aware of a country's culture maybe, and then the language. Uh, it is uh, maybe recommended if you know a bit of Ger German. And then, um, I mean, ma many people speak English here, but uh, it can be helpful to learn some German to fully in integrate into the culture. Mm -hmm. And Colin? Um, for any students, I would encourage them that uh, before they come, they just prepare themselves by learning a uh, German uh, because you have less pressure when you have nothing to do at home after finishing high school. And when you just come here, um, the first thing is to be able to integrate well is to accept to learn because if you are a person who's willing to learn everyone will accept you and um, just try to be yourself thank you so both of our student investors mentioned that it's um, very beneficial to speak german of course um, it is much easier to find an internship or um, a part-time job if you speak the language. Um, Josephine mentioned that we offer a German language course on campus uh, in first year of study, um, A1 or A2 level, depending on uh, your, your knowledge that you come with. Um, so you can start 
from scratch with A1, or if you already have some basic knowledge of German, you can continue with A2. Um, and this course is included into your tuition fees. Um, and later on, if you wish to continue, um, we, we always ask students to inform us and we can arrange um, follow-up courses, uh, B-level, C-level, depending on how many students there are in the class. Um, so there is also support from the university in terms of learning the language. Uh, but yeah, as um, Andrew and Colin mentioned, of course, if you've already come with some basic knowledge of German, um, this will be beneficial for you even in the very beginning on a daily basis to understand what people are discussing and what's going on um, outside of campus. Um, here at the university, we all speak English. All teaching is conducted in English. And um, as you see, our student ambassadors, they have a positive experience of working um, in, a, in German companies or international companies um, in English. So this is also possible. Um, Leipzig is a very international city. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, if you focus on uh, learning the language, this will just open many more opportunities for you. Um, yeah, uh, is there anything um, Josephine would like to add or ask the students? No, not really. Um, I'm glad this has worked out so well for them, of course. And um, I think all of our students are very talented and, um, you know, they, it's, I think it's really great to see how they grow as people during their time here. And, um, you know, the comparison to the, the first year students when they start and they're so curious and, and then they evolve into these, yeah, great experienced graduates because they had this opportunity to work and really, yeah, just to hear how you can complement your knowledge and then apply the knowledge and then also the the application of it and also helps you with your theoretical knowledge. I think there's a really nice um, interplay or very nice sort of yeah story to hear from the students. So yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, I don't I do not see any questions. Um, so far we can wait a couple of seconds. Um, but otherwise, yeah. No questions, but thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, thank you, Andrew and Colin, for sharing your experiences. We wish you the best of luck um, in your future career. Um, yeah, and we are sending you the best greetings from Lancaster University in Leipzig. Thank you for attending. And thank you. See you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.